uh, the motor wizard issues and some t-shot issues in 442 um, so if you flash 442 and you've tried to change your motor directions in the motor wizard uh, you may find that that is not possible um, as detailed okay. in this issue and further discussion about this um, in addition to that it does seem like um, you know there are some other comments in these prs about um, things like extra error rates mm-hmm. um, and that's on a pr for five, 4.5 currently um, so i'm not sure necessarily when this will get fixed like it's there's a 4.4 maintenance branch with it there's a master with it and there's prs for both um so it will definitely be included in 4.5. I'm not sure about 4.4.3 or how that will go moving forward with the D-Shot errors. But if you're seeing any of this stuff with your motors or funky stuff, definitely go back to 4.4.1 and make sure that that is still happening there. And then you can continue to troubleshoot other issues. Yeah. Uh, is it me or have there been a lot of bugs in Betaflight recently? I mean, I guess there's always well, little bugs. I'm going to I'm gonna say a counter to that, which is that Everybody complained about the 4.4 release period, like how long it took to get 4.4 out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I think but at least it was other, stable. I think we kind of went the other way, where we were maybe a little faster than we were before, and now we're encountering a little bit of stuff that doesn't get caught in RCs the same way. At least that seems to be, I agree with you, that seems well, to be. We had some H7 issues in 4.4.0 oh, and 4.4.1. Um, you know, we've seen this D-shot issue now in 4.4.2, and that's fairly major, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. The whole cloud build thing was a bit of a, it was a big, it was a big thing. And it feels like there was some part of it that the devs decided should be pushed back on the manufacturers because there's, there's flight controllers and targets where like the gyro doesn't work or the barometer doesn't work. And the devs were like, Hey, look, we're going to release this. And if it doesn't work, the manufacturer needs to fix it. It's like, okay, I kind of get that. But, uh, we st- you got this D shot problem. What was the problem in four four one? Like SD cards don't work on H seven. On H sevens, and then yeah. there was, and then on four four zero H sevens can't use ADC. I think yeah. And now, and now we're just we're just shooting the shit. But they're going to add this whole new processor, right? This new cheap processor. Well, sure, yeah. And and there's going to be like new drivers and new peripherals and the and I, I'm just not like inspired with confidence that this is all going to go smoothly yeah well i don't know for sure yeah well well, we can hope it will and hopefully they'll get these uh issues resolved but we'll keep you updated dominic clifton in the chat says it's a total mess in case people in case kids out there who don't know who dominic clifton is he's the original developer of clean flight which beta flight spun off of and is still a major beta flight well i say still he has been a major beta flight contributor uh, he says he's been fixing bugs today, so I guess he still is a contributor. I wasn't sure if he kind of said this is all a bunch of nonsense and packed up and went home. I guess not. He says there's no good testing strategy. Well, I wouldn't know. I'm not a coder, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. 